Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. see that it looks very nice. You can see that this is actually a little bit lower than our dash and you can also see there's no warpage at all. The next thing that we want to do, we want to go ahead and remove our defrost vents just like so because we don't want those in there while we're doing the body work. We don't want those in there to ruin them because we're going to keep these. So from doing what we did right here, it's going to take minimal, minimal filler. The job is going to go 100 times quicker and it's going to come out perfect very, very fast. What we got, we got a product called Dynaglass. If you don't know what it is, look it up. If you can look this video up, then that means you can look the Dynaglass up as well. It's actually a type of a Bondo filler that has fiberglass inside it mixed around, and it becomes a very, very hard type of filler to use that will not shrink down or crack when using it, such as a product called Alumatech. You don't want to use that, that will crack. But what, this, what we're going to use this for, we are going to use this product as our filler coat. And when I say filler coat, that means all this is going to be for is to fill the edges in and feather them out. You want to go ahead and mix that up. Make sure there's no streaks, it's one color. Once your dining glass is mixed, Want to go ahead and just go around the edges with it, as you can see me doing here, because all we're doing is filling in the valley area of our panel. And as you see, while I'm putting this in, it makes it look a hundred times better just by filling it in with our dining glass. You didn't see me use no hammers on this. You didn't see me dollying anything. You didn't see me doing anything but spot welding this panel in. And filling. That's all we did. Spot and fill. There you go. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, let that dry, we'll sand it down, we'll come back, we'll go through the procedures of our body work, and uh, that will be ready for primer within the next hour or so. I would like to tell you, straight off the bat, this is not a recommended repair for uh, the outside of the vehicle or anything that uh, actually comes in contact with the outside world. This is only a type of patch that you would do uh, on the dash, for instance, or maybe that back wall back there. Do you see what I'm saying? Something inside the vehicle. That's it. So uh, this is Pete, my friend Pete, showing you that patch paneling the inside of your car is, is easier than you thought. Now, if you happen to own a TIG welder or you're somebody that knows a TIG welder or has a TIG welder, you would uh, then go back and TIG weld the whole thing up. But it's not necessary. It's really not necessary. What we have done will last a lifetime of the owner owning this vehicle and past that. Take it easy. We'll see you later. DIY Auto School right here, shaving the dash, showing you how to shave the dash, showing you how to do it the fast, easy, simple fucking way.
And then once you're all done uh, welding up your dash, you do all the body work to it, you can see right there, and this applies to any type of welding or fabricating that you're going to do inside the cab of your truck, you can see that it uh, came out very, very nice. You can't even tell where the speaker panel was at all. I think that looks great. I think the owner is going to like it. And it really gives it that custom look. Now, we did keep the uh, air conditioner holes. And I will paint those vents uh, white. We're going to go ahead and put uh, buy some brand new ones. The old ones were kind of crackly and old. And, uh, yeah, came out great. I like the way it came out. But uh, besides all that, this is how you would fix or repair or modify, we might say, your dash panel inside your old classic truck and make it look new style. And then if we come inside the dash here, you can see, uh, we don't have good lighting, but we'll get the best we can. You can see right there, that's the panel that I showed you that I welded up. I went ahead and cut that out for the air conditioner panel. That is where the original air conditioner was. There was a panel that actually bolts in there and it looks like the other side over here. We went ahead and welded that up smooth. We did our minor body work to it. I then took the air conditioner control, cut a hole out the proper size, and then went back, primed everything, and painted it. This is going to be a very, very nice truck. The owner is going to love this truck, and the owner is really going to be happy with his custom 1965 Chevy truck. So I hope this video set's helped you out. I hope that uh, you've learned some type of tech tip, uh, some type of knowledge from it because that's what my friend Pete's all about is teaching you how to do it and teaching you how to do it right. My friend Pete's here showing you and teaching you how to get off your lazy fucking ass and how to do something in your life besides sit around bitching, moaning, and groaning and complaining about politics, we might say, or about, uh, you know, anything in general that has anything to do with nothing in your life. We'll see you later. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. Last chance, Pete, coming through again for you. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.